In this example, we're told to add 4 over 15 and 7 over 25. Note that we have different denominators. We need to write them with the same denominator, and the, the common denominator that we'll use will be the least common multiple. And the least common multiple of 15 and 25 is 75. If you can't see that, you can factor the two numbers. 15 factors as 3 times 5, and 25 factors as 5 times 5. So we write those, we write 3 times 5, and then we write 5 times 5, keeping our columns together, and then we take one number from each column, 3 times 5 times 5. So our answer, 3 times 5 times 5, and you can do this in your head, 5 times 5 is 25, times 3 will be 75. So 75 is the least common multiple. So what that means is I need to take each of these fractions and write them with a denominator of 75. And then I'll be able to add them easily. So 4 over 15 is equivalent to some fraction with the denominator of 75. 15 times what is 75? 15 times 5 is 75. So I also have to multiply the numerator, the 4, times 5, and that gives me 20. And then I rewrite 7 25ths also. 7 25th, 7 over 25, will be written with a denominator of 75. And here, 25 times what gives me 75? 25 times 3. So we also multiply the 7 times 3, and that gives me 21. So 7 25ths is equal to 21 75ths. And 4 15ths is equal to 20 75ths. So if I need to add 4 15ths and 7 25ths, I can just add these two numbers because they're equivalent to 4 15ths and 7 25ths. So we add them up. 20 over 75 plus 21 over 75 equals 41 over 75. In this one, we need to add 3 sevenths and 1 eighth. So we need the least common multiple, and you can probably see that 56 is a multiple of 7 and a multiple of 8. So we'll re rewrite 3 sevenths with a denominator of 56, and we'll rewrite 1 eighth with a denominator of 56. And then we'll add those two fractions to get our answer. Okay, so let's rewrite 3 sevenths with a denominator of 56. 7 times what is 56? 7 times 8. So we multiply the 3 times 8. And 3 times 8 is 24. And here, 8 times what is 56? 8 times 7. So we also multiply the 1 by 7, and we get a 7. So 3 sevenths is equal to 24 56 and 1 eighth is equal to 7 56 So 3 sevenths plus 1 eighth will be the same as 24 over 56 plus 7 over 56. And that we can do pretty easily. 24 over 56 plus 7 over 56. And we can just combine the 24 and the 7 because we have the same denominator. And 24 plus 7 is 31. So we get 31 over 56, and that's our answer. Sometimes we need to reduce our final answer to the simplest possible form, and that shows up in these examples. 7 over 20 plus 1 over 15. Well, we need a number that's a multiple of 20 and a multiple of 15, and you might be able to do that in your head, too. Find a number that is divisible by 20 and by 15, and such a number is 60. So we need to rewrite 7 over 20 as a number with a denominator of 60, and also rewrite 1 over 15 
with a denominator of 60. Okay, 20 times what gives me 60? 20 times 3. So I also multiply the 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 15 times what gives me 60? Well, 15 times 4. So I also multiply the 1 times 4, and that's just 4. So I have 21 over 60 and 4 over 60, and that's pretty easy. 21 over 60 plus 4 over 60 equals 25 over 60. And that's my answer, but I need to reduce it to simplest form. I can see that 25 and 60 are both divisible by 5. So let's divide the top and the bottom here by 5. And 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 60 divided by 5 is 12. So 5 over 12, that's my answer.